Hello, this is Laura from Beam Object, and today I introduce you the Beam Objects made by Rack Ceramics, specialized in ceramic and grass porcelain wall and floor tiles and sanitary ware. Now we are working in Revit, and we would like to add some sanitary and tiles to our project. We can browse the Beam Object catalog through the integrated app. Here we can easily find Rack Ceramics products using filters, keywords, or simply type in the brand name. Here is the list of all the products that have been developed by now. Rack Ceramics developed their beam objects for all the main beam softwares, Revit, Archicad, SketchUp, and IFC file, as long as other file formats that we will see later. We would like to use the Metropolitan Collection, so we use it as keyword to filter the many products available. We choose to see further information about this product. Now we can take a look to the data delivered through the product page. Here is the preview image and some information about dimension. Then we have a product description, some links to Rack Ceramics website and further information like materials and classifications. The property tab includes also some data of the product. We can press the follow button to be always updated about Rack Ceramics new releases and the little heart below the preview image saves this product in our beam board, the list of our favorite products. Rack Ceramics delivered also a 3D preview for the sanitary products and we can see it with a click on this button. Now that we know very well this Metropolitan bidet and we are sure we would like to use it in our project, we can download it. As told, we have all the main BIN softwares, Revit, Archicad, SketchUp and IFC, but also file formats like DVG, 3DS, OBJ, STL and FBX. We download the Revit file, which is automatically converted to the Revit version we are using. Here is uh, 2018. Since uh, it is a wall hand product, uh, we need to place it on the wall, which will be its host. We could also connect it uh, to the MEP system through the pipe connector. And uh, in the type properties, uh, we can see some further information, such as links uh, and classifications. Now I would like to show you a couple more products from this product line, so we can quickly download other sanitaries to complete the project. Now it's time to place the tiles. We browse the Beam Object app for tiles and we pick the beige shade. The product page is full of useful information that we can check and then proceed with the download of the Revit file. We find a sheet that introduces us this product. There are some information about the texture, which I already downloaded, and a how-to to help you specify this product. Then we have a 3D preview and the three size options choice. As stated in the how to use, in order to apply this style to our demo, we need to copy the placeholder inside our project. Now we can go to the wall or floor structure edit and apply the tiles as material for the finish. Here we see the material browser and all the information included in the material, some identity data, graphic and appearance settings. Here are the texture and the bump map that allows us to create a realistic version of the product. We apply spatolato material and change the viewport to realistic so we can see the changes. If we zoom in, we see the tile texture detail which will be used in the render. Here is a quick example of a draft render. Thanks for watching. Contact us from Beam Object or Rack Ceramics for any inquiry. See you soon on beamobject.com
बाय